Hello everyone, in this tutorial, we are going to look at the interface of Blender. So as you can see, I am using Blender version 3.6, but you should be able to follow along in any other version that's pretty similar or close to this version. So at first, when you open 3D Blender, you will see the 3D viewport. This is the big window right here. And this is basically where most of the work in Blender will happen. This is where you will do the modeling and the animation. As you can see, we've got this red line. And then we've got this green line going across this grid. So these are the axes. So the red axis, you can see in the corner we've got a red x there and then you got the green which is the y axis there's also a z axis but that's currently hidden as we don't really need to see that in the 3d viewport if you click on this little drop down here for the viewport overlays you can enable the z axis as well now if we look to the left hand side these are the tools available in this layout. And then on the right hand side, you've got the axis and you've got some icons here that we will look at later as well. Right at the top of the interface, you've got this different workspace, UV editing, texture, painting, shading, animation, rendering, compositing, so these are basically just different workspaces that are customized for specific workflows inside of Blender. So we will going to look at them a little bit later. So then we will move over to the right hand side. You see this box here in the right top corner. This is the outliner. The outliner basically shows everything that is going on in your scene or all the objects and cameras and lights etc that's in your scene. So you can just quickly use the outline to see everything in your scene really easily. The outliner is also used to organize your scene. You can just go over here and double click this cube and you can rename it to maybe a um, box or anything that you want to rename that object to. So right below the outliner, we got the properties windows. Now the properties window consists of all these different tabs that you can click on. And we are going to go through all of this in a later tutorial render settings or object properties that you can find here next if you look at the bottom of the interface you will see the timeline now i can click and drag to make this timeline a little bit bigger and this is basically where you can see the frame range or the frames of your animation so we will using this timeline when doing any types of animation so i can click and drag this player to change what frame i'm currently seeing and you can see the number of the specific frame that we on let's say if i put this on frame 100 you can see that this number will update as well so let's say i want my animation to only be 100 frames and it's going to loop when it gets to our end frame which is 100. I can set the end to 100 frames and I can see that it will updated this area at the bottom to only have 100 frames. You also find your play buttons so you've got your play forward or play animation. So that's basically all you have to know about the timeline for now. So you can resize all of these windows. Then right at the top here of the interface, you've got your normal file, edit, render window. So on the file, you can create new project or open the existing project to save and also save as the project. 
Then we find edit menu. This is where you find the blend of preferences that we will probably look at in a later tutorial. And you also got your random menu right here, window and also the help where you can find the tutorials, the support and everything. So we talk about these two icons first. So the first one is your gizmo. So I can switch that off or on. Next to that, we got the overlays button or the show overlays. Now if I click on this, it will disable all the overlays like the grid and all the little overlays. And this will actually hide the little gizmos on this side. Then you can also enable or disable things like statistics. If I enable this, you'll see a little statistics here on the side which will give you an overview. So we'll probably use this a little bit later so you can switch this off for now and you can enable it later. So let's have a look at these icons right here at the top. These are the different shading views or render previews that you can choose for the viewport. So the first little sphere, if I click on this, it will give you a wireframe view. If you want to do editing and you want to see the vertices and the edges behind the object, the next shading view is solid mode or the solid shading mode. You can also enable this little icon which is the x-ray view. Then you can customize the viewport exactly as you want it. Next, we have the material preview mode, this little sphere right there. Now this one will show you your materials. So in a later lesson, we will look at the materials applying different textures and materials to your object. And this will show you how those materials will look inside of the viewport. And the last one is the render preview. And you can also change between two render engines. Now the render preview will show you lights and your materials and kind of everything that you have. You can toggle this side menu anytime you want. So that's all the interface inside of Blender. I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.